Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about all of the di different configurations and options you have for your ESV suction and discharge ports. So let's start with a technical brochure and this happens to be the BESV 60, 60 standing for 60 Hertz uh, in this case. So in that technical brochure, let's take a look at the product code. So here's an example of the product code for a pump and motor combination. So on the same page, what we're going to be focusing on today is called the configuration option. And today we're going to review every one of these options. And we do have the specific parts we can look at. Um, you know, the differences between all of these. So now let's go to the repair part. Uh, remember, that's a separate um, book in your catalog. This is RESV, so repair parts for the ESV, and it's R6, so your R6 has to do with uh, revision. So on that parts book, uh, we flipped it to the major components for the 1 to 22 SB. So on that same page, let's move down to what's called pump bodies. And I've ordered every one of these part numbers here. You can see here that's for the 1, 3, and the 5 SV. And we're going to look at the different styles of all the flanges. So here is an overview of all of the pump bodies that we just looked at in the parts catalog. One thing to note is I have just gone and made labels for the specific part number uh, for this pump body as a part. And just for reference so I can keep things straight, I've identified the configuration number and also identified the material. Now, of course, these parts don't come with the labels on. Uh, that's just for our video here today. For additional information on your pump bodies configuration, we're going to refer to the technical brochure again. So let's get into some more detail in your technical brochure. And we flip the page over to pump characteristics. And let's just uh, focus on the 1 to 22 SV series and some more details on the pump bodies that uh, we're talking about today. So let's pick a couple of these and talk about some of the acronyms uh, that we see. Uh, because uh, we do like our acronyms. So the first one, the F configuration, we can see that it's an ANSI flange. So ANSI is American National Standards Institute. And inline delivery and suction port. So uh, we're talking about discharge and suction here. And also we can see that it's an AISI 304. That's American Iron and Steel Institute, and that is the grade of stainless. Let's move on to the next, which is the T. That's your oval flange. NPT is your national pipe thread. Again, inline delivery, discharge, and suction port, and AISI again, grade of stainless 304. So let's move on to the next one, and this is an ANSI flange. Uh, it is 304, and this one you can get the pump manufactured in four different positions, which we're going to go into more detail. The N is ANSI. Notice the difference here is 316. P is your Victaulic coupling, again 316. The G is your cast iron. And then C is ISO clamp 316 stainless. So the next page uh, might be helpful as well because that actually shows some diagrams of the different pump bodies or configurations. So let's start with um, the F. And so today we'll go in the order of the parts book. And so the first one happens to be an F. And um, so just kind of keep in mind that I've labeled the part number. It's a 1L656. Um, they do not come labeled. And uh, just for the purpose of the video, so we can actually see uh, what this configuration style looks like uh, when ordering a pump with the F-style configuration. 
So one thing is this is a 304 uh, stainless. And the F is a is a ANSI round flange. And it's a 300 pound ANSI flange and does not come with the mating flange. So that would have to be purchased uh, elsewhere. And so this is a, we can see here a four bolt, uh, inch and a quarter, 300 pound flange. So let's just look at a, just a couple examples of some flanges that I had laying around. Um, remember in this case, we want a 300 pound uh, four bolt flange inch and a quarter. So this is uh, a two inch. So, you know, a lot of your flanges have all kinds of information on them. We can tell this is a two inch. This is a slip fit and it's schedule 80. So this would not be the right flange, but just in, as an example um, of a, another style flange. So the next one here, uh, we just happen to be looking at a um, 316 flange and it's one and a half. So again, not, not the right size, um, but it's also a 150 pound flange. So um, this particular threaded flange, although four bolt, it's inch and a half. We want inch and a quarter. Uh, this is 150 pound and we want 300 pound. So moving on to this flange here, uh, we can see that is an inch and a quarter flange and it is a 300 pound flange and it happens to be 316. As we can see here, it's threaded and this is a, a raised face flange. And so you do need a gasket and there's a lots of different styles of gaskets. This happens to be a full face gasket. Um, as opposed to just a gasket that goes on the raised flange. Next down the list, we see the end configuration. And again, this is just the part number of this specific uh, pump body here. Um, but the end configuration is very similar to the F, the one that we just looked at. But we can see here, again, it's really in the literature, is it's 316 stainless. So 316 offers some more corrosion resistance than does 304. So you'll see the same 300 pound uh, flange. And again, we need the, in this case, inch and a quarter, 300 pound raised face flange with a gasket. And in this case, we've got the full face gasket. So next on the list here in the parts book is the G. And so the G, you can see here, this is a cast iron uh, pump body. And so the one thing that's slightly different here, this is a 250 pound flange. So again, does not come with a mating flange. So that would have to be purchased elsewhere. And you need a raised face uh, mounting flange, 250 pound uh, four bolt flange. So the next part number that we're going to focus on is actually the same part number for four different build configurations. We can see here that the R, W, X, and Y, same part, but the discharge orientation uh, differs. We can see with the R, the suction is at 12 o'clock and the discharge is at 12, so they're lined up. Right? Suction's on the bottom, discharge is on the top when viewing from top to bottom. The W, always 12 o'clock on the suction. And then three o'clock is the discharge. The X, the discharge is at six o'clock. And the Y, the discharge is at nine o'clock. So we can see here, uh, again, this is the R, the W, the X, and the Y. And that has to do with the uh, build orientation on the discharge. And remember the suction is always on the bottom. That's always at 12 o'clock. And then do you want the discharge, uh, which is on the top to be three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock or 12 o'clock. And we can see here that that is uh, 304 stainless. And again, the same uh, ANSI 
round flange configuration that does not come with a mating flange and you have to purchase that elsewhere. So the next uh, uh, configuration style down the list is your T and uh, that is a 304 stainless and we can see here that is an oval flange. Now this one does come with mating flanges. So um, with a complete pump build or liquid end build uh, you would get the gasket uh, and the mating flange uh, on both sides. So that's your uh, oval flange. So next on the list is the P configuration, which happens to be 316 stainless. The P we can see here is a Victaulic connection, and this does not come with a mating flange. The last pump body on the list uh, of the, the part section is the C configuration. We can see that this is a 316 stainless pump body, and this is an ISO clamp connection. Again, does not come with mating flanges. One more reminder, I guess, is the only configuration that comes with a mating flange is the T configuration, which is the oval. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. For additional information, uh, look up goulds.com or give us a call.